Hey, Toronto people, how are you doing today? So are you single, looking for love, and like so much in life, just don't have the time or don't know actually where to start? Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about that. My name is Catherine Tanaka. I am a fitness, nutrition, and accountability coach, as well as the host and producer of the Body Project podcast. And I wanted to invite you to join us, Carmelia and I, on December 11th for Single Bells. So this is Toronto's hottest event for single entrepreneurs and change makers. And today we are chatting with Carmelia. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It, it, it's all happening so fast. <laughs> I know. I'm going to do a little intro so that everybody watching knows who you are. So okay. Carmelia Ray is an internationally acclaimed matchmaker for high achieving men and super high quality women in the search of love, right? Yes. She yes. is a renowned TV personality of Mom vs. Matchmaker, The Real Housewives of Toronto, and The User Guide of Cheating Death. Carmelia is going to be a keynote speaker on this amazing event of Single Bells on December 11th. So I'm so excited that you're chatting with us today. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I'm excited as well. And you're uh, speaking about, uh, you're on a panel, are you? Or are you, are you also giving a talk? Yeah, so we're going to be both there speaking, but I'm going to be sitting on a panel with other influencers speaking about love, about our journey on finding love and navigating right. I guess from our own perspective on how we have gone about finding successful relationships, right? Correct. Yes. And this is this is going to be a great event because, you know, Torontonians will have a really great opportunity to kind of blast through the frustration of being single and maybe this might be a catalyst for finding a partner. So I would yeah. love to hear your perspective. You know, this is your realm being a matchmaker. Why do people need to be attending this event? Oh my goodness. Well, any opportunity that singles can get out of the house, out of their normal environment and meeting people that are not in their immediate circle. I mean, they say, you know, I, I, I talk to a lot of singles and one of the, the biggest challenges for single people, particularly in the, let's say the 30 to 50 age gap, where maybe they're attending more weddings and bar mitzvahs Bar, mit ah, bar mitzvahs and baby showers and there a lot of people are coupled in that age right so their their single friends are becoming um, much smaller and their circle becomes much smaller that being said you know there are not a lot anytime there's an opportunity to at attend a singles event in particular always always encourage people to step outside of their comfort zone and get in front of a new audience and do something different i mean single bells is the place where not only are you single it's for single entrepreneurs so anybody who has an entrepreneurial lifestyle knows that that is very a, a very unique and different lifestyle and finding somebody who matches you on from that level as well, both mentally, emotionally, lifestyle wise, wise is also very important. So that's the, that those are just two reasons to come to an event. And of course, great food, great fun, great music and wonderful hosts. Uh, Teresa, who made this all happen is a fabulous connector. This is the first time you and I are meeting and I can already tell like just with our matching energies, the kind of people that will be in this room. So it's, it's just an opportunity to network and get outside of yourself and practice the art of conversation, developing rapport and uh, you know, doing something different. Yeah. And I absolutely love that this event is at this time of year. And especially, you know, and like you said, a very good friend of ours, Teresa, has curated this and spearheaded this event out of a need, right? Toronto is a hustle bustle city, but like you said, people sometimes are in the single world of a world full of couples. So this is curated specifically for professionals and it's a really great way for people to meet their potential someone, right? Absolutely. Full disclosure, I am not personally single. I'm happily <laughs> married with two kids. But you I just disappointed a whole heap of gentlemen, but, and, and, and I'm in that boat as well. Right. That being said, this event is welcome to all, whether you are coupled, couples, there is a dress code. So if you are paired, you yeah. wear red. If you are single, you wear green. 
If it's complicated, you show up in your ugly Christmas sweater because it's complicated. It could be ugly. Yep. And if you are LGBT, you show up in sparkles. So they're really, this is an event for everyone. A hundred percent. And I think not only will it bring this beautiful energy and fun at this time of year, but I think it is really a really great way to meet other single professionals in Toronto, right? So if you Correct. are watching this and you are single, make sure you get all the details that I'm going to post below this, wherever you're watching this. But I would love your professional thoughts on the speed dating round because I have never tried speed dating. <laughs> I'm always fascinated by it. Yeah. But tell us why this has been curated this way and why it really is kind of a great way to meet people and maybe three questions that people should keep in mind for themselves going into speed dating. What a great question. Oh my goodness. Um, and thank you for bringing that up. First of all, what, what singles need to know about speed dating? And I'm not saying you shouldn't have expectations, but when you're going to a speed dating event, the, you're not there to find your match. If it happens, great. And I feel like a lot of disappointment happens when single men and women walk into a room, they do a quick glance and say, oh, there's nobody here that I want to meet. There's no one I'm attracted to because what's the first thing that we're looking for? It's obvious, the physical attraction. We have our types. And what's interesting is when you can remove your type and just put it aside for a moment and realize you're participating in activity where you get to practice getting to know someone of the opposite sex or same sex if it's if it happens to be that kind of a of a connection right in this case we're um pairing men to women who are uh, looking for heterosexual relationship and so if you get that you're walking to an opportunity to really get to know this person in front of you do you know that a ton of relationships have come from introductions? Maybe this person isn't your romantic connection, but maybe after meeting you thinks, oh my God, you've got to meet my brother. Oh, you've got to meet my lawyer. You've got to meet my, um, you know, my surgeon, whoever it is, you're in a room dating, uh, speed dating, and I'll call it speed networking, just so that you get the dating off the table. It's really an opportunity for you to practice your own conversation skills and dating skills and take the pressure off. Ugh, I don't want to be spending three minutes with this person. First of all, everyone has a story and you have a story. Uh, a, a big thing that we missed here, which I'm sure we'll talk about, is that a lot of the, there are proceeds going to the Covenant House. So by attending this event, not only are you giving yourself an opportunity to make new connections, possibly find love, you're also giving to a charity, the Covenant House, which is a place for uh, uh, youth. Incredible cause. So you're, it's, it's a win-win all around. Back to the speed dating. Uh, you're, you're having an opportunity to speak to somebody across from you where you get to practice, you get to have fun, you get to take the focus off you and learn about another person. So great questions to ask are always those open-ended questions. So there's questions that are not answered with yes or no. Uh, you know, what do you do for work? I mean, it's an easy one to ask somebody what they do for work um, because people like to talk about themselves. But I think when you focus questions on really digging deep to what inspires them, you know, questions like, uh, you know, where do you see your, what are you really passionate about? What do you like to do for fun? Keeping it off of um, work related things because it's so easy to go to talk about work. Vacation, oh my God, it's cold. Where did you go on vacation? What's on your bucket list? You know, do you have a morning routine? If you do, what's that like? I mean, you are now in front of another entrepreneur, so you can even ask a business question. That's what I think, right? So there, there are a lot, and I think what I'll do, uh, because you brought this up, Catherine, and I forget that not everybody, hi, <laughs> knows what to ask when it comes to dating, this is your chance to take on being like pretending it's a first date, right. but really um, first date should not be interview questions. But the good thing about it is if you blow it, oh, well, it's not like, you know, it's, it's your Mr. or Mrs. Right. It's really, you're both in a space where you're like practicing, right? So that's what I would say about speeding. Highly encourage any and all of you to um, sign up for speed dating. First, there's only 25 spots for single men and women a great way to get to know 25 new entrepreneurs 
of the opposite sex that guess what? They know people, they go to great events. They might know somebody so they could be your perfect wingman or wingwoman down the road. A hundred percent. So a couple of the barriers that I've come up across just in the last couple of days of us knowing about this event is that people are like, oh, this isn't for me. So what I want to say to those people, and I want to get your opinion also, is that you need to come into life with curiosity. And I think, like you said, it's a really great opportunity to meet people and network, but more so, I think you need to create this allowing for yourself, right? This opening of what is possible in the realm of love, dating, and especially this time of year, the magic of the holidays. It's a really great time to say, okay, what am I leaving this last 10 years with and this last year of, right? And what do I want to create for myself in 2020, right? This is something yeah, I talk and, a lot You know, about. respectfully speaking, when someone says, this isn't for me, how do you know it's not for you? Are you, ba there, first of all, there's never been an event like this. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you've ever been to an event that Teresa's curated, it's for everyone. Yes. Sorry to say, like, it, there is some, there's gonna be something for everyone. And, um, you know, I like to, to, to speak from the space of knowing and experience. So it's one thing to go in, it's a nominal fee to get to know somebody. And if it isn't for you, you can leave after the first hour, but I wouldn't say it's not for me without really knowing, um, you know, what it's about. Any chance, if you're saying, no, it's not for you, then it's, then meeting people, having fun. I don't know who that's not for. Really and truly, I don't know who that's not for. 100%. So let's get to, I guess, the details of the evening. Speaking yeah. starts at five o'clock and all proceeds of this event goes to Covenant House. So Correct. even just that, giving a, in the spirit of giving during the holiday season, it's a really beautiful opportunity to support a charity that really supports our youth in Toronto and yes. I believe across Canada. So I mean, it's a great out, great way to meet people, and also to give back in the holiday season. Yes, and every attendee is asked to bring an uh, old piece of clothing because there is um, a lady, Dinah, I believe her name oh, is, that yeah. is taking the clothing, starting a shop in the Philippines, and will literally be gathering everything that we've donated to go back to the Philippines to start a shop there to help with the economy and the people that are in the Philippines. So there, there are so many things that are happening here. As well, after the speed dating event, we will have um, the, the talks, I believe, are, are next from all of the various keynotes. We also are doing prizes. There's a silent auction. So each of the attendees has brought together generously some uh, gifts and prizes that can be auctioned off. And every auction bid goes 100% to Covenant House as well. So my team is giving away a makeup tutorial, an online dating makeover, a fitness, um, you know, fitness boot camp, uh, coaching, love coaching sessions, all, all complimentary uh, for the cause. And you are getting this stuff at a steal. Like that alone is incredible. Yeah, I completely agree. So I will post all the details. Make sure you join us. It'll be fun. You can meet this lovely, amazing woman as well as some other key influencers in Toronto. I hope to see you all there. See you there.